Welcome to our new series. This is called Top X. With videos ranging from light and fun to dark and disturbing, this one promises to be interesting and you'll likely learn a thing or two along the way. Now we still have lots of other cool stuff coming up this year, including of course, our famous track series. This is Top City Wildlife. We've not been able to list them all folks and we've intentionally left insects off the list. That's for another project. Creatures you're likely to encounter around Taiwan cities. Let's go. Bats. But these are not the big scary bats you're used to. These are tiny cute bats and they can be found around any park in Taiwan at dusk. They're totally harmless. Turtles. Well, what can we say about turtles? They're, they're cute, they're adorable, and if you'd like to spot them in Taiwan, any park that has water, you'll find turtles. Cockroaches. There are approximately 4,600 species of cockroach worldwide. Most of them you won't encounter in human habitats. In Taiwan, there are about 75 species. They tend to make people squeamish, especially when they can fly. They can survive for up to a week without their heads. They eat pretty much everything, including each other. Scurrying through crevices, streets, and sewers, taunting you as they wag their wispy antennae. Rats. If you live in a place with a significant human population, you live among rats. Unless, of course, you live in Alberta, Canada. My very first rat encounter here in Taiwan 18 years ago was in my first month. I was at a hot pot restaurant and I saw movement to my right. So I looked over and there was a rat. He could reach the bottom level of the, of the buffet. The next thing that happened was the cheeky little rat ran over my foot. Since then I've become accustomed to rats. They have a bad reputation, but I admire their resiliency, intelligence, resourcefulness, and find them quite cute. For time, human half-witted efforts to eradicate rats from urban life have failed and backfired miserably, while creating several new problems in the process. If you live in a city in Taiwan, you're sure to encounter rats, and that usually makes people uncomfortable. Irrational fear. So on your next rat encounter, don't panic, just observe and respect. Swallows. Swallows are believed to be auspicious birds in Taiwan, so they're welcome to share tiny spaces in people's homes and businesses. But just for part of the year, they're migratory birds, and they're intelligent. They have adapted well to urban landscapes, they build strong and impressive nests on vertical surfaces. Skilled architects. Night herons. If you've run into a large bird strutting around a city park, it could be a Malayan night heron. This stocky and solitary bird seems quite comfortable sharing its space with humans. In cities, it meanders around parks, fields, wooded areas and gardens, foraging for insects and worms, but will also consume small reptiles and amphibians. These encounters allow us to observe their striking beauty and stabby beaks. Squirrels. The red-bellied tree squirrel is primarily a herbivore, but occasionally likes to eat eggs and insects. They can be found all throughout Taiwan in schools and parks, leaping through the canopy, frolicking amongst children. They're very aware of predators and will vocalize warnings. These feisty squirrels will relentlessly mob tree climbing snakes, and it's common for females to join in, especially when rearing babies. The nimble squirrel has adjusted well to urban life. Egrets. 
about three types of these long-legged, snowy white birds can be found in Taiwan, in rice fields, in canals. During breeding, they develop long, wispy, delicate plumage and experience colorful changes in their faces and legs. Egrets may nest in colonies with several different types of birds. They make nests in trees, bushes, or reed beds near water. Their nests look rather haphazardly assembled, not the most elegant architecture, but functional. Although egret populations were devastated a century ago by humans with feather fetishes, they're a conservation success story and have flown back from the brink. Geckos. Gravity-defying house geckos, or wall geckos, baffle, inspire, and amaze scientists. I have a fond memory of one. I named her Gwen. One night as I was working on my computer, I was being pestered by a fly. She swooped into action. She walked onto my monitor from the wall and clamped down on this pesky fly with the fly bits dangling from her mouth. She stayed on the monitor for about three seconds and we, we had a moment before she scurried back up the wall to enjoy her meal. These chirpy, cute little creatures should be welcome guests in our home. They like to munch on insects and spiders. Banyan trees. The banyan tree is truly mysterious, magnificent, mesmerizing, and menacing as it consumes everything in its path, natural or man-made. Not much grows under the banyan tree. The banyan tree sends shoots down from its branches. They take root and become trunks. A single tree can have hundreds or thousands of trunks and become a forest or grove, like a mother with thousands of arms embracing her thicket of children. Banyans are the world's largest trees in terms of area covered. These colonizers of nature are literally pillars of their communities. A striking, powerful, tangled wooden giant. Humans. The most dangerous entry on our list. Motors. Cyclists and pedestrians popping out of everywhere. Rowdy racers, red light runners, muffler modifiers, daily debacle. Street dogs. This is my favorite one on the list. Random encounters with street dogs and cats is exactly how I've accumulated the most amazing furry family. Although there are still thousands of homeless dogs out there, some are cared for by the community and there's been a lot of progress in the last 18 years. If you've adopted one, you know. If you haven't, do consider it. It's a truly life-changing experience. So did we miss anything? And which things are on your list? And which list would you like us to make in the future? Please tell us in the comments. Thank you for watching.